imagine that the Earth is actually like a disk. Now, in the centre of the disk is the North Pole, and the land masses stick up above the actual water, and that my head is the globe, yeah? And so that the water, will it stick to the mass of my head? No, you see that the water will run off my head. I don't think anyone has got the answers to anything, but we're all trying to piece the pieces of the puzzle together. Well, it was me who realised that the world was flat. I realised about six months ago. The world and the construct that we live in is, is completely fabricated, and it's designed entirely to rob you of the truth of who and what you are and your divine creative purpose on, on Earth. I came across information in August 2015, Mark Sargent's Flat of Clues, and it, it strongly supports that the Earth is flat. I'm 99% certain that's what we are in. Once you uncover some truths, you like, want to get to the bottom of why, what's the reason, what's the motive? And then that's when you just start to get a bigger and bigger, bigger picture. And it's, I mean, it, it was a very disturbing revelation. Water, wind, the sun, moon, trees, mountains, vegetation, the skies, the stars, never, ever lie. This is a personal favourite. Uh, this is about NASA, um, not a space agency. Um, the magician's hat, a bit of Freemasonry going on there, a rocket going <laughs> And yes, scuba divers and some bubbles, with the devil behind it all. <laughs> I had a DMT um, experience that blew my mind, blew my paradigm. I found God, I found, you know, I realised that I wasn't just some material science lucky explosion. It was, it was I, I and everything else is connected to one love, to one great consciousness. Dave Murphy actually is the one, his video that woke me up, that I watched by mistake. Had no interest in looking at Flat Earth, thought it was a bit ridiculous. Um, but yeah, start looking and then it just all fell into place and just smacked me around the face with how obvious it was really in the end. The model that uh, you know, we're kind of using, it's not completely accurate, we, you know, we don't have all the information. But if you imagine like a big dinner plate and uh, in the centre is uh, the North Pole. All the continents are strung out around that North Pole. And around the rim of that plate is Antarctica, which uh, is essentially like a 200 foot wall of ice, followed by 300 miles of ice plain, uh, followed by two mile high mountains. The simplest explanation tends to be the truth. And uh, the simplest explanation is that when we look at uh, the, the sea, it's flat. The Earth is a flat plane in there and it runs in the center, in the middle. The Earth is divided at the moment into four different rings of land. Many birds during winter are said to fly north. Where are they flying? Where are they going when these birds go north? Perhaps they are flying to this northern no man's land of Linto Kolinen. I took all this information and said, well, how can I put this into a, you know, into a physical model, into modern day terms, modern day science? And that's what I've done. And I've created something called the geocentric electromagnetic universe or the cosmic egg theory. I believe we're actually living in like a snow dome. We are seeing evidence of there's a big cover up about lots of things. Like, for instance, toothpaste, they put in fluoride, which is, is poison. Yeah, I've done a fair bit of research. It's only on the basic physicality of my own observations. They want to bring in tighter constriction control, to like take away the guns, this is what they want to do first, disarm the citizens and then they're going to bring in the new, like, new world order. And it's not just my own observations, it's also taking the observations of other people that I've seen on YouTube, etc. You imagine being a prisoner of a prison that you do not know that you are a part of. So basically we all think we're free, but you imagine if we're actually in a world where we are just slaves, but we just don't know we are. That's pretty scary. Once I realized that the Earth was flat, it didn't take me long to start asking, well, if our Earth isn't a spinning ball hurtling through a vacuum of endless space, and outer space is not likely what we've been taught it is, then what on Earth is it? No, I, I believe that some of us should get Nobel Prizes because um, there are some things that we as flat earthers have discovered that the uh, scientific community hasn't told us about. 
Now, before I reveal and present my cosmic egg presentation, or one of the models tonight, I'd briefly like to explore the nature and anatomy of an egg. I watched most of the cosmic egg talk last night. Um, unfortunately, I don't agree with a lot of uh, you know, the conclusions and stuff. Um, so rather than uh, stay and cause controversy and argue and stuff, I, I just kind of you know, leave it. Hello everyone, my name is Luke Johnson. I'm a first year astrophysics PhD student at Imperial College. <coughs> and what I do is develop stellar variability simulations for exoplanet surveys. Uh, so as you probably guessed from all that, I believe that the Earth is a sphere rotating on its axis as it orbits our sun. You can't create something from nothing. And the Big Bang Theory, yeah. you can't create something from nothing. You could create, if I'm going to do a drawing, I have to have the paper, I have to have the pen, I have yeah. to... I, I, but I, I, all I was going to say yeah. is I, I wouldn't, wouldn't trust any text written by a man. While scientific scepticism is healthy and constructive, denialism is the opposite and all too easy to mistake for the other. What you're basically doing there is telling us to trust the mainstream sources of truth, the academic institutions which we know have distorted and perverted the truth. Some people um, are very aggressive when you talk to them, they almost find it, you've, you've completely, it's almost like you've killed their cats. Other people say, you're stupid, I can't believe you look like you're an intelligent guy, I just can't believe you just said what you just said. A theory is not just an idea. A theory is an idea backed by evidence that has predictive value. My children, 16 and 18 year old, like they've been so indoctrinated by the system, it's hard for them to see outside of the ball paradigm uh, still. Um, my sisters and my father, they think I've lost my mind. My friends think I'm, I've gone crazy. My, 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 my closest friends were, were talking about having me some committed or whatever, you know, I, I must have lost my mind to be saying all this crazy stuff. Maintaining a constant altitude around a massive circular surface. But you're still assuming it's going to be, that's all. Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I think some people have been betrayed, or feel betrayed by governments and people in their lives, and I think some people have just dropped too much acid. Is it conceivable that the observable natural egg reproductive system in humans could be a mirror reflection of the cosmic egg system of our universe? It's a nice idea to think that we're on a ball, and I, it, you know, I, I can't now, but it would be a lovely idea to think, well, we can go to other planets, and, yeah. and we can go here, and the stars shoot, and you can wish upon Whereas a star. the, the reality and, is, but it's, the it's reality system, we can't go anywhere. That we can't go anywhere. I think, yeah, and you, you see some films like The Truman Show, and they love to put truth out of plain sight, like mocking us. We get excited because um, we, we come up with our own um, ideas and our own proofs. I cried. When, when the penny finally dropped, I think the first point was is that when I realised NASA was not a reliable source. It is one of those subjects that people are so programmed just to reject it the minute you say it. To be in a room full of people who already know and they can have a proper conversation about it and learn more and I think we all learn from one another. So it's more of a free flowing of information without judgement really. I think that there's this central bit of flat earth theory where the earth is the centre of the universe and that we're all special. You don't need anyone else to guide you. You can look to yourself as your primary guide. And that's where I've kind of where, where I've changed because I was looking to the government, looking to this, looking there for, for the answers. Now I, I try and trust myself so much more. I think there's a huge there's a huge appeal in believing in something that only a small group of people do. And you're 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 in on the inside joke. And we all work in science, so we very much know the appeal of discovering something for the first time. So we completely understand where they're coming from. It feels like they just went down the wrong Yeah, they, they feel like they're blazing the trail, basically. Yeah. And they're very proud of themselves for knowing what they believe is the truth. It's quite a sad reality, but that doesn't mean that we can't make the best of what we've got. You know, as, as flat earthers, we're, we're looking for the truth. So it's sort of a matter of saying, well, let's collectively come together, which is what we're doing. Let's brainstorm, let's share ideas and say we know the facts, there are people measuring, so we know those facts. Based on those facts, can we collectively, as the human race, come together and figure out what is going on? What, what, what's happened? Why are we here? Why are we even questioning the shape of the Earth in 2018?